Ishwarya and you're watching Rainbow Presents Body and Mind powered by VLCC. Now here's a quick slice of history for you. We're all familiar with modern day pole dancing. But did you know that the origin of pole dancing can be traced back to 1135 AD in India when it used to be called Malakamba. So that was your little history lesson for you but now it's time to get hot and sensual with some pole dancing moves. about Pole Fit Dubai. I'm joined by the co-owner and lead trainer herself, Vlada. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you very much for coming. My pleasure. Now, this is my first time ever. I have never pole danced before. I'm really excited to know what this is about. First of all, tell us what Pole Fit is. Well, Pole Fitness is an increasingly popular form of dance and fitness that is based on choreographed routines and tricks and spins on the vertical bar. It's a great full body workout that can help you lose weight, tone your body, increase your flexibility, improve coordination, and also it's lots of fun. Absolutely, I mean, it looks like a lot of fun, but as you said, it's, it's a little bit intimidating because when you see girls do it so professionally, I mean, I can only imagine the amount of core strength that's, that's needed. So would you say this is for uh, people of, of, you know, different fitness levels? Yes, totally. Uh, well, when you see competitors and instructors to perform pole, obviously it takes lots of training and a few years. Uh, but pole fitness is for everyone, absolutely. And uh, total beginners with no fitness whatsoever can come and try pole dance. And there's no age restrictions. Um, definitely try it. it you love it. Okay, so so which one? Am, I'm I'm guessing I'm I'm going for the base, the beginners one yes, today. <laughs> let's start with that and see how it goes. So should we get started then? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so my first ever pole dancing lessons. I don't know where this is going, but I'm gonna leave it in the capable hands of my instructor Vlada. So should we get started? Yes, uh, we're going to start with the uh, warm-up, which normally takes about 15 minutes. But today we're going to go through the exercises quickly. Yes, and typically they, there's about 8 to 16 repetitions of each of these moves. That's correct. Yeah, but we're going to do an express version of it for you guys. So should we get started then? Yes. Okay. So we're going to start with legs wide. And we're just starting with the mobility of the whole body. And first we're going to inhale, squat up. And exhale down. We're going to repeat one more time. And exhale down. And let's stretch our neck and head to the side and then to the right and place both hands on your top of your head and look down release your hands look up and let's do some neck roll uh, head rolls is this meant to loosen up the neck yes and other side I think it's good to keep the eyes open when you do this so you don't feel dizzy. <laughs> so okay. now we're going to roll the shoulders back and one, two, three, four, five. <sighs> Makes the shoulders nice and loose. And forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And hands to the side. We're going to uh, warm up shoulders more because for Paul it's very important. So we're rolling forward and back. And now relax your shoulders, make your arms straight and roll the back. Very good. And make circles bigger. And let's go a little bit faster. And we change to uh, reverse forwards. Very good. Keep your arms to the side. And let's warm up elbows. Make full so circles. You get a nice big stretch part by part. I think and on the side. Oh, we We'll get, back. we'll get to stretching. <laughs> Just your arms the warm forward. up, this is not even the stretches. Warming up your wrists and your fingers. Go different ways. Very good. Place your palms on your thighs and let's warm up the chest. And chest forward and back. Forward, very good. Forward. And changing side to side, to the right, to the left, to the right. Try to isolate your chest. Yes, good. So hips are not moving, only chest. After a good warm-up session, now it's time for the most 
fun part of the routine, which is, of course, the pole dancing. Should we get started then? Yes. Um, okay. Normally, uh, in the class, after warm-up, we do five minutes of conditioning exercises on the pole to strengthen the whole body for the pole. Uh, but today is your first class, so we're going to go straight away to the routine. Okay, let's go. And we're going to start with the first exercise. The first trick, uh, first um, exercise is the step around. We're going to stand next to the pole on your tippy toes. Lift your right hand and hold on the pole nice and high, your arms straight. We're going to li uh, lift the left hand to the side and lift your left leg up to the side. Perfect. Now bring your left hand to the pole across your chest and watch me first. We're going to bring your left leg around the pole in a circle and we're going to step all the way around. Perfect. <laughs> I'm stuck right here. <laughs> okay, then. how did you do that? I'm, I'm going to give that another go. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do it one more time. Watch okay. me first. So keep your arms nice and straight and allow it to spin. Oh. Yeah, don't wrap it around. That's what I didn't yeah. do. Just... Then you lean to the side, hold on to the pole, and then you draw the circle. And as you're on the other side, you're going to lift the other oh. leg up. All right, got it. Got yeah, it, got let's it. repeat it one more time. Okay. So to the side, making an X, holding on to the pole, and step around. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Much I better. I overdid it a little bit, just that that's how good I am. Yeah. Good. <laughs> We're gonna repeat it one more time just to finish it up. Okay. Let's go. And <laughs> lean away. Hold on to the pole. And step around. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. <laughs> okay, so next um, exercise will be a uh, fireman basic. A fireman. Fireman. Yes. <laughs> I like a fireman. Yes. Um, so getting up again on tippy toes, right hand up. We're going to turn to the pole and hold the pole across the chest. Mm -hmm. okay. Now you lift your left leg up and hold on to the pole. Touch the pole. Touch the exactly. Pole. Now we're going to lean to the left and lift your right leg from the other side of the pole to slide <laughs> all the way down. Okay. Let's try. I'm going to try that. Yep. Lean to the left, lift your right leg up. Perfect! Well done! Okay, that's okay. called the fireman. That's how now they do we're it. Gonna do some steps in the beginning to make the spin a little bit faster. So have a look, watch me first. I'm gonna start with my inside leg, which is right, and make three steps. As I finish my third step, I'm gonna swing my left leg out and bring my knees up. Both the legs. Okay. Both legs at the same time. Okay. Correct. And let's try. Just keep your right hand nice and high. There we go. Start with your right leg. Right Three leg. steps and one and two and three. Hold on to the pole and bring your knees up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now a little bit faster. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just relax when you're walking around the pole. We don't need the zombie walking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing the Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So just relax. Imagine you're walking okay. on the street and keep your right hand nice and high. Okay. Yeah, let's go. And go. Three steps. One and two and three. Hold on to the ball and lift your knees up. There we go. <laughs> Another failed attempt, okay? Wow. This Good. Works. Yeah, it's already. Um, beginners normally will get some bruises. Yeah, the, yeah but I'm, I can feel that already. <laughs> we call them pole kisses. Pole kisses. And normally, girls, when they go to the high levels, they. So, I mean, you do this every day. Don't you get a lot of pole kisses? Not anymore. No, Not anymore. Uh, skin gets used to it, so you don't get them. Sometimes when I practice something completely new, I, I can get the small bruise, but no, as beginners. I feel the tips of my fingers already. Yeah. <laughs> Those never worked before, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not this much, no. Okay, so now we're going to make a small uh, routine. Uh, we already learned the step around, which is going to add on a layback. Let's go. Standing next to the pole on your tippy toes, right hand up. Lean away. Hold on to the ball with your left hand, step around, legs together, turn and lean on the pole. Well done, open your legs, release your right hand and lay back. Bring your hand back to the pole, stand up, turn around. Well done. Okay, that wasn't so bad at all. Well, you know, it's really fun. I mean, obviously, this is my first class, so lots of pole kisses. But I, I quite enjoyed it because, I mean, it's so different from your regular treadmill and, and, you know, cardio and whatnot. You get to have fun. You get to listen to music. Mix around with so many different Make women. Make friends it's also in class. It's such a fun experience, isn't it? Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. Right, Lara, you've gone really easy on me because it's my first class and I'm sure to come back. But we cannot leave without having you show us a complete routine of what you do over here. All right? So it will be my pleasure to show you. Stage is yours, pole is yours, take it away.
Colford experience, I must say, was a comedy of errors, but a breakthrough of sorts as well. And those of you watching, please don't try this at home if you don't have much experience. But from my first experience, this is one of the most fun workouts that is out there. Now, in case you're wondering about my stylish fitness gear, this is a soft poly and nylon blend mesh t-shirt, which is cool and comfortable, courtesy of Skechers. Time now for a quick break. Stay tuned.